Hello, this is Helgari, and today I'm going to show you a small tutorial on how to install a mod list using Wabajack. Wabajack is an automated mod list installer that uh, aims to simplify the process of installing large and complicated mod lists uh, for a lot of the Bethesda games, so Skyrim, uh, Fallout, Oblivion, uh, games like that. So first thing you need to do is go to wabajack.org, www.wabajack.org, and you will see our webpage here. And then scroll down here, it says requirements. Now you are going to need a Nexus Premium account today because uh, we download mods from the Nexus and we do it in an automated fashion. And that functionality is locked behind a uh, paywall. It's a small amount of money, $4 USD. Um, you know, we're gonna download a lot of data from them, so it's good to give them a little bit of money. All right, so now click uh, download here to download the Wabajack program. This will take you to our GitHub page. Get the latest version, so we'll click on 1.0 beta 5, which is the latest version today. And then click uh, wabajack.exe, and we're going to save this into our my d colon wabajack test folder. So we'll save that. And as we see over here, we now have wabajack here ready to run. So we can double click this, and it'll the first time we uh, start it. It'll take just a little bit to uh, boot up because it's uh, got to do some initialization and that sort of thing. We see the splash screen pop up here. And as you can see, it's kind of extracting some files it needs to, to do its work. And here's the main interface for Wabajack. So now, as you can see here, there's several things we could do. We can create a mod list. We'll have to cover that in a different tutorial. You can install a mod list that you've downloaded from somewhere else. Well, Wabajack is open source and anyone can create a mod list. You can create a mod list here and give it to your friends or put it online somewhere. That's fine. Um, so this is if you want to install and you already have the file. But we also have a curated list of mod lists. So let's click uh, Browse Mod Lists. And we see here, here are all the different uh, mod lists currently available for install. Um, you'll have to look at these to see which game uh, they are for. It's something we could probably improve later. Um, but we're going to scroll down today and we're going to install Noise, a nice overall improvement SE. Uh, it's a mod list designed to be built upon by others with uh, enhanced graphics, mechanics, and immersion while staying true to the original version of Skyrim mechanics. So this is a Skyrim special edition uh, uh, mod list. Now, before we continue, what you will need to do is, is make sure you have the game downloaded through Steam that you're going to use this with. So you should have Skyrim Special Edition installed, a, a vanilla base copy of the game. So if you already have it modded or whatever, you may want to delete the game and reinstall it to make sure you have a clean copy of it. Um, and then also uh, make sure you run it once. We go into the, um, uh, the Steam game and run it once. And so let's do that real quick. Um, and we're just going to hit uh, play once so we get the just to the screen. That's all the farther we need to hit. And we hit exit and we can exit out of Steam. That makes sure that, that uh, Wabajack can find where the game is. That first initial install will set up some uh, folders and some other information uh, that Wabajack will need to know about uh, so it can install files in the right location. So now we're going to hit uh, download mod list. And once it's downloaded, we'll take, it'll take us to the installation page. Now, I actually already have this mod list installed. So I'm going to go here and uh, I have uh, a mod list copy here that I'm going to update. So uh, you would need to also set your downloads folder, but that, that's automatically set to wherever the installed location is plus download. So you can just set find any empty folder, prefer, preferably a shorter path close to the, the drive. So, you know, C colon, maybe one or two folders. Don't put it deep into some uh, nested set of folders. Uh, there we go. So here we go. We're going to install this uh, noise um, mod list to this location. That's our downloads folder. And we're going to click next. So now because I already have a copy of the mod list uh, installed there, it says, are you sure you want to overwrite your existing files? If I hit confirm now, this will delete any file that's not specifically part of the mod list. So what it's going to do is it's going to go through. And um, if I have any save files or any extra files I've installed, those will be removed. Um, and, but I'm okay with that today. So I'm going to click confirm. And now it's only going to install the parts of the mod list that have changed. Um, you won't get this section uh, if this is the first time you're installing the mod list. So as we see here, it's telling us a little bit about the mods that are being installed. Uh, we can click through them a little bit if we want. We can go to the web page, um, pause it if we want to learn more information. And uh, we just sit here for a second while this uh, continues to look at all the different files we have and figure out what uh, what we need to do. So here you see, it's saying, uh, please log into the Nexus. And we have a little web browser here. 
And so I'm going to log in. And once it logs in, this uh, takes a little bit of time for whatever reason to uh, to log into the Nexus. It'll say here, would you like to uh, Wabajack to be able to access your Nexus account? And you'll need to click Authorize, and this will allow Wabajack to get an API key uh, that it can use to download files. So we'll hit Authorize. And now that Wabajack has that, it can download the files that we were missing. Uh, if this is your first install, that process we just saw will take a lot longer because you'll have around 200 files to install. Um, but, uh, but there we go. Um, at this point, we can go ahead and open the install folder. And we can close out Wabajack. And now you will need to make sure that you read the README. It's on the uh, the website. So if we go back to the website here, um, there's different mods lists. And if we go and we find noise here, um, we can view the, the instructions. And uh, you'll need to make sure you read this um, because it'll go through all those different steps of what you need to do. But one of the final steps that you have to do for most games is to go to this game folders file and select all the files in there and then go... Um, here to your um, Skyrim game folder and you'll want to copy all of those files in and so I'll go ahead and do that here and I have some of those already so it'll replace those so this is where you get SKSE and uh, all the other script extenders you need uh, for this to actually work so once we go back here we can do mod organizer.exe and here's mod organizer and then we can go ahead and click run to start the game And here we are. We are in a modded version of Skyrim. That's the uh, tutorial for today. Thank you so much for watching.